How was the design of the new C-Class created? Out of a passion for modern aesthetics and innovative technology, and the courage to leave conventional forms of expression behind. Our designers have developed a fascinating design idiom for the new C-Class. Both progressive and emotional highlights emphasize the forward-looking stylish design of the new C-Class and convey sensuous clarity. The task of bringing the design to fruition commences in the initial development phase with typical Mercedes perfection and attention to detail. In intensive discussions, the proportions, dimensions and lines are evaluated and checked for consistency. That same emotive design idiom sporting sensuous clarity is carried over into the interior too. Even the first design drafts show evidence of the contemporary luxury and dynamic sportiness that will later be found in the series production model. I'd say let's have the separation there and then a gradual upward sweep towards the dashboard. As the main theme, we have this sporty centre console, which has been designed with really sensuous lines and shapes. And the other design focus is these wings, which sit on the dashboard. Finely crafted three-dimensional elements emphasise the high-quality character of the interior. By working together on an ongoing basis, designers and engineers have succeeded in creating the perfect blend of fascinating form and purposeful function. The kind of aura it has. Another highlight of the new C-Class is the reinterpreted centre console with its sporty flowing lines and exceptionally high value appeal. On automatic models, the large one-piece centre console panel sweeps elegantly from the armrest to the central air outlets. Manufactured from a single part, its continuous clear-cut lines create a captivating look which are embedded neatly into the trim with a finely faceted chrome edge. Marking another evolutionary step is the innovative touchpad. Its sculptured shape embodies our commitment to sensuous clear-cut design. Can we take a look at the drive programs on the screen? The vehicle's various operating and display features, including the head-up display, instrument cluster and central display, are assigned precisely coordinated contents. The way in which these contents are presented visually has also been completely redesigned. To orange, and then the customer can adjust the drive system. Finally, an accurate one-to-one -one model is painstakingly crafted by hand. Last-minute touches and corrections to design details are then made to this model of the new C-Class, so that a definitive design can finally be decided upon. Innovative lighting technology has opened up whole new creative possibilities for the designers of headlamp systems. I think it's important for the lens to be in the ridge detailing once more. Its contemporary and emotional design lends the new C-Class an unmistakable identity. So at the top there's a section like this. The clearly delineated daytime running lamps ensure a brand typical appearance. Now, if we take a look at how we've done that in the first CAD model, I think this is a very important area for this car, and how this line flows from the shoulder. The digitally generated design data are incorporated into a real-life data control model, which serves as a reference model for all subsequent production processes. The gap in this area as well. The lines and highlights are also carefully checked on this reference model. The reflections of the strip lighting demonstrate the excellent surface quality. The design is now finalized. The new C-Class is ready for production. The new C-Class, the best knows no alternative.
stage, at this point here. Comfort, an apparently simple concept, but today it's anything but simple. Quite the contrary, in fact. If we take the whole thing and rotate it... Even a component we usually take for granted, such as the vehicle seat, has evolved into a complex unit featuring state-of-the-art technology and carefully matched comfort-enhancing materials. But it is still a person's own perception of comfort that remains the decisive factor when it comes to a relaxed driving experience. This is why the seats are continually tested and optimized by our development engineers throughout the entire development phase. The state-of-the-art ride and handling test rig can simulate all driving situations. In addition, each individual component is subjected to continuous loading to investigate and test its operational reliability and durability, both in the laboratory and out on the test track. And it's there where another innovative system shows us what it is capable of. The C-Class is equipped for the very first time with all-round air suspension, whose shock absorbers and air springs work completely independently of each other. Each damping element can be actuated separately, allowing the chassis to be even more finely tuned. Chassis and comfort settings are continually perfected on unforgiving test tracks and in the most harsh climatic conditions, and at performance limits that the C-Class would hardly ever encounter in everyday use. Our pursuit of optimum comfort continues in the interior, where there's much scope for individualization. Climate control functions have been expanded to include an air ionizer and a perfume atomizer unit in the glove compartment. It's under extreme conditions that our new air conditioning systems most clearly demonstrate just how effective they are. This is why we carry out tests all over the world and in the most harsh of conditions. The visual and acoustic characteristics of the new displays for the instrument clusters and navigation system have also been optimized. Here, customers can select which drive program they want, and then in the head unit, they can configure their own individual program. Personal settings for the chassis, steering and drive system can be conveniently configured using the attractively designed menu. And you highlight chassis to continue with the settings. For the new design, our development engineers focus specifically on improving operating comfort and convenience. The new touchpad, for example, allows the user to operate all infotainment systems even more easily. The reliability of the individually selectable languages and menus was checked on extensive test drives, both at home and abroad. The driver can also display selected items of information on the head-up display. The assistance systems in a C-Class also help to reduce driver stress significantly. Adaptive Cruise Control uses radar-based distance measurement to help the driver to maintain a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Steering Assist helps the driver stay in lane, both in stop-and-go traffic and at higher speeds. To do this, it uses detected lane markings, or if there are no such markings, or they are difficult to detect, it uses the vehicles travelling ahead. Parking Assist helps the driver to park by steering and braking the vehicle, regardless of whether the C-Class is being parked in a space parallel or perpendicular to the road. Six front and six rear sensors scan the area around the vehicle. At the same time, Parking Assist calculates the optimum parking trajectory, whilst also continually checking the gaps and clearances. The new C-Class, the best, knows no alternative. With its numerous groundbreaking technologies, Mercedes-Benz is continually setting new standards in the field of vehicle safety. The integral safety concept of the new C-Class is likewise the result of the combination of advanced materials, intelligently applied engineering skills, and innovative occupant protection and assistance systems. Depending on the vehicle specification, this all-round protection for vehicle and occupants is supported by the latest generation of radar and camera systems. 
Here, state-of-the-art assistance systems continually monitor the flow of traffic so that they're able to warn drivers and provide assistance if critical situations occur. Also new in the C-Class is a radar-assisted system that is able to detect the risk of a rear-end collision. If required, the system tensions the seatbelts, applies the brakes if the vehicle is stationary, and gives a visual warning to the traffic behind. Active Lane Keeping Assist uses a stereo camera and radar sensors to monitor the traffic situation. Even if the vehicle accidentally strays over a broken line in the road, the system can intervene if there's a risk of collision with, for example, vehicles traveling alongside, vehicles overtaking at high speed, or oncoming traffic. The system will automatically guide the vehicle back into its lane. Even traffic crossing the vehicle's path can be detected by this optional driver assistance package. In critical situations, the system warns the driver visually and audibly, automatically increases the brake pressure, and if necessary, activates the pre-safe system. Today we're going to find out the speed range. The latest generation of pre-safe brake also provides effective protection for pedestrians. It warns the driver if there are pedestrians in the danger area in front of the vehicle, assists with emergency braking, and brakes the vehicle automatically if necessary. We take the same rigorous approach when it comes to passive safety too. In the side member, the area was much too soft, but we went with the idea of inserting a part here. Long before the first crash test, our development engineers are able to detect and eliminate any possible weak points using accurate computer simulations. So things are now looking much better for the vehicle occupants. Can we take a look at that in the whole vehicle? Yes, the barrier comes from the front. We have slight deformation of the side member in the front area and very stable. The first newly developed components and connecting systems are manufactured at the same time. Together with super high strength and ultra high strength steels, they form a safety cage which offers occupants the greatest possible protection. The vehicle, the product of close cooperation between engineers and designers, has to then prove its worth in a series of sophisticated crash tests. More than 230 crash tests are conducted to put the safety of the new C-Class through its paces. The loads on the vehicle occupants are examined again and again. Restraint systems, such as the airbags and seat belts, are repeatedly checked and door opening force is measured, so that any possible optimization measures can be incorporated seamlessly into the process. The body and chassis must now prove that they can also withstand the most extreme of loads. First in durability tests on unforgiving test rigs, then on the toughest test tracks at home and abroad. The commitment and striving for perfection of our engineers is particularly evident when it comes to safety critical details. The development of new wipers, for example, enables rain and dirt to be removed visibly more effectively from the windscreen. The dirt deflection properties of the side windows have been significantly improved by modifying one inconspicuous detail. We've made that bigger and created a neat passage here so the water drains away nicely. Optimizing the shape of the water deflector has significantly reduced the amount of dirt buildup on the side windows. Furthermore, our tests on the wind tunnel and climatic tunnel show improved aerodynamic characteristics in addition to enhanced safety and comfort. And when weather, light and driving conditions change, then the adaptive headlamp system automatically regulates the light angle and light distribution to provide the optimum illumination for the prevailing conditions. Working just as purposefully is the new adaptive high beam assist. When permanent main beam is activated, oncoming vehicles or vehicles in front are selectively masked in the cone of light without the driver having to take any action at all. All the functions of the intelligent light system are optimally coordinated with each other. The result is a significant increase in safety, not just for the occupants, but for all road users. The new C-Class. The best knows no alternative.
Anyone wishing to build advanced automobiles needs to think about how all aspects of vehicle development and production can be improved. Advances in powertrains, the manufacturing process, material selection and lightweight construction all have a direct and noticeable influence on the life cycle assessment. This is why we're using aluminium not just for parts of the body shell of the new C-Class, but also for the bonnet, doors and roof. Consequently, our development engineers have been able to achieve weight savings of around 100 kilograms compared with the previous model, while simultaneously increasing rigidity and strength. At Mercedes, designing for the environment is an integral part of the development process. It begins with the right choice of material, on the new C-Class, material selection is not just influenced by technical functionality, but by sustainable thinking. Targeted use of renewable raw materials and selected recycled materials not only reduces the consumption of resources, the development of innovative manufacturing and processing methods also ensures sustainability in all stages of production. Every material that we use in our vehicles meets the highest requirements in terms of functionality, quality and environmental aspects. As evidence of our environmentally oriented approach to design, the new C-Class has been awarded a TÜV environmental certificate. Even our drive systems have been designed with greater efficiency and reduced environmental impact in mind. The fuel consumption of the new C-Class has been reduced by an impressive 20%, whilst its CO2 emissions are less than 100 grams per kilometre. In a Mercedes, form and function are not polar opposites. Rather, they complement each other. So I'll now calibrate the flaps. OK. Proof of just how much care our development engineers take over every detail can be seen in the new controlled radiator shutters. They open and close according to speed and temperature, thereby reducing back pressure in the engine compartment, improving drag and significantly lowering fuel consumption. Take a look. These are our calculations for airflow through the engine compartment. Right, now let's see what it looks like with smoke. How incoming and deflected airflows affect the vehicle and the environment is meticulously examined and evaluated in our state-of-the-art wind tunnel. The results confirm the positive effects on fuel consumption and the environment. The same goes for our highly efficient hybrid drives, which combine the strengths of the conventional combustion engine with the advantages of an electric drive. Over the course of countless kilometers of testing, our engineers have continued to refine the drive system of the new C-Class in order to take advantage of every potential energy saving, as was the case, for example, with the efficiency-optimized oil system of the 7G Tronic Plus hybrid transmission. Here, the driver is assisted by an intelligent system that automatically decides which drive system is the more efficient at that particular time. In addition, excess kinetic energy is converted into usable electrical energy and stored. Even the energy released during braking is captured and stored in the high voltage battery. In precisely calculated driving situations, the stored energy is returned to the system. The intelligent hybrid anticipatory operating strategy, whereby the vehicle evaluates the road ahead, helps to reduce fuel consumption even further. The new C-Class. The best knows no alternative. Forward-looking engine technology combines dynamic power delivery with exemplary efficiency. Whether petrol or diesel, there is a wide range of engine variants to choose from for the new C-Class. In addition, a new generation of hybrid drives brings together the specific strengths of the combustion engine and the electric motor. 
When the vehicle is accelerating, the immediately available power of the electric drive combines with the output from the combustion engine for impressively superior power delivery. The agility of the new C-Class has been further enhanced with specific lightweight construction measures. Increased use of aluminium has enabled our development team to achieve weight savings of around 100 kilograms compared with the previous model. When developing the new C-Class, we didn't look for a compromise between driving pleasure and comfort. Instead, we sought to maximize both. Long before the vehicle went into production, our engineers put each new feature and each modification to the test under the toughest of conditions and pushed them to the limit of their performance capabilities. Even inside the Arctic Circle, vehicle components such as the engine, chassis and assistance systems still have to prove they can operate reliably. Steer control helps the driver to stabilize the vehicle by generating a corrective steering torque in the electric power steering. We can maybe have a closer look at this narrow area on the module. The results of the tests are evaluated at the Mercedes Technology Center in Sindelfingen and the system perfected. The air suspension, which is available for the very first time in this vehicle class, has helped us to enhance comfort even further, while simultaneously increasing vehicle agility. Agility Select gives drivers the choice of five programs, enabling them to adjust the vehicle's driving characteristics to the road conditions and their own personal driving style. Continual fine-tuning during testing enables new findings and knowledge to flow directly into the further development process. We'll now install the new valve control map in this range. Using a host of sophisticated components, the engineers have developed a chassis that makes the driving characteristics of the new C-Class absolutely unique. In sport mode, the vehicle's agility and sporty performance are increased. The comfort setting provides maximum ride comfort. Here the focus is on relaxed driving. In critical situations, the system automatically regulates the damping characteristics and helps the driver to stabilize the vehicle. The torque vectoring brake doesn't just enhance active driving safety, but also delivers a more dynamic and sporty performance through selective power splitting. The new C-Class, the best, knows no alternative. <laughs>